today's episode, we're going to focus on automation, specifically Google Forms. I use Google Forms in my business all the time, and it has made a huge difference. So I'm going to dive into a couple different ways that you can use Google Forms in your business, but also different ways that you might not have thought of Google Forms. Because when I mentioned to people that I use Google Forms, a lot of people are like, oh, I just thought that was such a simple thing. I didn't think that it was anything significant or even worth my time to look into. One of the main things that I think you need to know when using Google Forms is that you can change it so that everyone only submits one entry. Now, by default, Google Forms doesn't collect email addresses, but it can be super useful because people can respond anonymously and you might find that people like that more. And also they don't need a Google account to fill out your form, which is handy. The downside is you can't confirm who provided which answers, so you have to be mindful of that because the information that you're receiving is anonymous, and sometimes that can be good and sometimes that can be bad. Now, if people do have a Google email address, like we use Google email for our business here and a couple of our other businesses. So, of course, everyone has an assigned Gmail account, so that makes it easy. We can check that box and we can say, because you have a Gmail account, we do want to collect your email address so that way, if we have any follow-up questions, we know where to start, who to look for. Now, what I think is really cool, especially if you're in the entrepreneur space or you are working towards creating landing pages and things like that, is that you can turn a Google form into a quiz and also grade it. So this could be super cool if there's specific questions that you want to ask and you want to move people in certain directions based on their responses. I think there's lots of things that could be super cool with this, making your business just that much more segmented. Another cool thing about Google Forms is that you can choose multiple choice questions, which can be graded in real time, or you can choose short answer or long responses. You know, if those are, if you choose the short or long responses, then of course they're going to be graded manually because of course the system can't recognize that, but it can recognize the multiple choice aspect. So if that's something that you're using, it can be done automatically for you. One thing that I really, really like about Google Forms, because I'm very passionate about having the same look and feel for all my branding, is that you can create a custom header image as well as colors within Google Forms. So let's say that your branding color is purple. Well, you could make everything purple. You could even upload your own image or a logo. As long as it fits, there are some requirements, just like any other social media banner. You want to make sure that you fit within that. But the ability to customize that is so cool, especially if you're using it for a quiz or a landing page. If you are in that entrepreneur space, you definitely want to hang on to this space part of the interview. If you are using Google Forms because you're in the entrepreneur space, this one is going to be a big one because you can spread your form over multiple pages or for some questions only show depending on what they answered. So what's really cool about this is if you want to know if someone likes certain animals or certain businesses or certain things that you're trying to find out what they like, you can direct them based on the answers that they chose to previous questions. So it's kind of like a choose your own adventure book. I probably just dated myself, but I think it's cool because you can use this in all sorts of different quizzes or forms. Maybe this could be your intake form. If someone has signed up for your course and you want to know, okay, what is some questions that I want to ask somebody this could even be a form that you're using before you jump on a call with somebody to sell them your course to make sure that they are the right fit. So Google Forms could be really helpful for that. Now, of course, you can use a Google Forms template. There are many available in there that you can use to start to work with. But of course, you can create your own. And there's so many different things that you could use Google Forms for that maybe you haven't thought about. So event feedback, order forms, applications, time off requests, work requests, customer feedback, reviews all sorts of different things that you can use. And also, depending on what CRM you're using, a lot of times you can tie Google Forms with a Zapier to your CRM. So it's definitely worth investigating if you're trying to make your CRM the hub of your business, which is exactly what I'm trying to do. So when I'm looking at additional technologies, I want to say, okay, 
is there a way that I can tie this back to keep, which is our CRM, because keeping everything in one centralized area just makes things so much easier for me. Another cool thing about using forms is that everything can be kept inside a spreadsheet. So those responses that you're receiving, you can also keep them on a Google sheet, which is handy when you need a quick reference document to just look and see, okay, what was their responses? What do I need to follow up on? You could actually turn that into another spreadsheet too the possibilities are endless. If you love automation as much as I do, I encourage you to listen in over the next coming weeks because I'm going to be talking about specific things that I use in my business to help automate that I think you would find helpful too.